rumbling. Whoa. Is it coming this way? I think so. Oh man, there's a f there's there's some sort of fish in the water. Well, there it is. We can see it a little bit. Huh. All right. I don't know. I don't know what happened with them. Hmm. It's a cool room over there. Looks like it's got like a central kind of lever area or button area. I can't see it from this angle, only with the looking around the corner can you sort of see it. Don't tell me I have to jump over to the... Oh, man. This is Anna Londo all over again. Ho, Want to jump? Sure, why not? So we're above like a sunken church? That's pretty boss. Dude. Oh, there's even an openable door down there, but look at it. Because it's like slightly different colored, I'm assuming that's a working door and not painted on. And there's, there's loot on the roof. So essentially, at some point, I have to do a jump here and go for that. Go look down the other side a little bit first. Ah. Yeah, cool. Whoa. Oops. It's like, it looks like a blob monster a little bit. There's something moving down there. Could be a demi-human on the floor. Could be a blob monster. Not sure what to think of that yet. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna do the jump rather than trying to go down these, which don't seem to have anything at the other end yet. Oh man. That glorious glow. So good. Eep. Here's an hour. He, he had a feather. On the other hand, you know, if there wasn't any loot down here, maybe I wouldn't have, like, given this area a second glance so much. So, you know, sometimes a junk piece of loot could be a prelude to just telling you that this is a possible way to go. Which I like. 
It's like a clue without like painting an arrow on the floor. So the first thing I'm thinking of is that door. That kind of goes nicely backwards. Locked. Wow. I just see more sort of churchy stuff on the other side. And a solid wall. Okay. It's probably more interesting when you get in there. Maybe there's a guy and he's all like, help. We're submerged. Take me, take me out. Oh god, another one of these fire, fire guys. Rune of an unsung hero. That's brand new. Golden remnants of the grace bestowed upon heroes who fell in the realm of shadows. The great heroes of the war were richly blessed by the grace of the earth tree, but were not honored in death. They were not. They didn't get no justice. Okay. Let's head more towards the outer wall where the um, mysterious thing was. Where I couldn't really work out what exactly it was. And this is back round to where that elevating looking area was. Yeah. I was confident because it was only hitting me with every every other spell, like I was only hitting him with every other spell. But then he did two on the same side, and then I got wrecked. <laughs> Wasn't even close. He had me square to rights. So if I had unlocked that door, that wouldn't have got me out the other side. There doesn't seem to be like an exit on that side anyway. He is not messing around in melee. Noted.
Ooh. Oh, looks a lot like one of those uh, tree worms. I didn't realize I could swim. Oh, crazy jump. Work though. Okay, we all over here. Ah, no, you don't. So this looked kind of like an elevator area. Hopefully the fish doesn't get me. Yeah, nice. Nice. So we'll activate this, just in case. I don't know, we can activate it from somewhere else. You know, maybe find a shortcut back not have to do the whole thing. Specimen storehouse. What the hell is that? That is nasty looking. Oh, and there's a piece of loot on top of it. Um, okay. Not seeing like a, like a save point anywhere. Oh, no. Yeah, yes, I am. Love this. Love this. That, that absolutely shut me up. I was just like, oh, there's no safe one here. Yeah, there is. Hey, 6 FP for this level up. Cool. Boom. Done. Sold. Let's see what was that other way now that we're safely saved over here. Maybe that guy will still be walking like back and forth across this area. We gotta be ready for him. Close enough. Uh, so I even need to land where my foot is on the hand so that I'm not submerged. Or you have to drain this area. Which would then drain that like tree worm boss guy and we'd be able to fight him too. That'd be kind of cool if we have to drain the water. I'm going to try it though. 
Oh, it's a proper Skidoo tree fragment. Not one of the lame ones. Nice. This might get me the next blessing, although the next blessing did require three, so I might still be one off. That'd be sad if I'm two off. Oh, I like the gold in here. It looks great. Aha. So another area where we can summon a lift, but we can't yet. Hmm. So it looks like up was the correct way to go next. So I'm uh, sorry about having to ride the lift multiple times, but you know, I like to have a look through all sorts of different doors, see if I can spot a save. We don't have to keep on redoing the same areas again. Huh. Whatever it is, it's got horns, and one of them has snapped off. I guess they were playing Monster Hunter. And then it's... I don't know, it's, it's quite a lot like... The Buffalo Boss, like the Dancing Lion, I think it's called. From earlier on in the game, like the first boss that I found when I was walking around in the expansion. I'm going to check out the rest of this current floor, I think, before I go upstairs. Is that one of those evil red guys? Yeah, it is. Hey, his mistake was meleeing the terrain. Come on, man. You can't do that in the middle of a wizard war. I know all about that from fighting the two princes in Dark Souls 3. Never get stuck on the terrain. Carrion thrusting shield. And it's, it's in the shield section. Or the weapon section, by the look of it. Whoa, it's a new type of shield? Damn. Silver thrusting shield embedded with glint stones. Enables the wielder to attack and guard simultaneously. Once wielded by Rulana, the twin moon knight. Yeah, we have her as a boss. <laughs> During her soul entry into ritual combat. A demonstration of fidelity to the earth tree. Shield strike. A skill that uses the shield to attack. Repeated inputs allow for three follow-up attacks. So... Requires one more dex than I have, fine, but... Enables the wielder to attack and guard simultaneously. Really, though? It doesn't. I, I don't get it. I'm sure I'll have to use it to find out why it says that, but you definitely don't guard while attacking. Oh, interesting. If you hold a block, you can kind of fight with it. Hmm. 
guess the shield is sort of forwards in a lot of the animation. Not sure. So all the rest of this is solid wall. Fair enough. Let's keep going. I don't think we had an option to go down. Or did I just miss it? It's kind of like an area below this, on the other side of this, but you're not, you know, given access to it. See? D down, down there, but that's not... Ah. Okay. Whatever. Maybe we'll loop back around to it. Oh, there's more stuff strung up on the on the ceiling. It's interesting. Zombie horse. Uh, that seems to be a guy. This one. It's kind of in the shape of um. I don't know. I don't know if we know any particular guys that are in that sort of shape, but they're... Oh, it's in the shape of, um, Radagon, I guess. Hmm. More loot that I can't seem to like. I managed to jump off of these stairs yesterday. I don't know how exactly how I did it. Oops, what I did there alerted that guy. And that guy. Okay, well, maybe we'll be back and around. Strange. I had this awkward bit on Bloodborne where I couldn't figure out how to get to an area between two floors and it took me forever. Hopefully I can kick this guy straight off. I hate these. Good. Nobody else seemed to mind. I hear a winged creature. I don't know what yet, but it sounds like a winged creature. And nobody else minded. It's either a winged creature above us or outside the walls, but sure as day, it is the flapping of wings. I feel like the crusade that um, it seems like Queen Marika sent down here with with Meza or Mesma to burn all the people who liked the other tree, the Skadoo tree, more than the Erd tree. Seems a little bit unjustified. They seem to be like a lot of, you know, really aged scholars and stuff. Whereas she sent an army to fight scholars. hearing a lot of noise over that way but this is totally a jump outable hole I'm kind of wonder wondering what's going on hmm 
snake motif upstairs. Let's have another look at that. It's pretty cool. Very sneaky. Ah, it's bats. There's bats on the roof. Yeah. That looks like a safe drop to me. So I think if we're going to the lower rungs where we saw some loot and stuff earlier, that's going to be how we do it. Man, I'm kind of curious about every direction. The drop down, behind me there, up this rickety ladder, the rest of this building. This is so much to look at. It's so good. Fire Serpent, and it's a spell. Alright, let's have a look in the spell section. There's something breaking lamps, and I don't like it. Hmm, okay. It's an incantation. Launches a threaded serpentine flame. And it requires 16 faith. Incantation of the Fire Knights under Mesmer, the Impaler's personal command. Launch a serpentine flame that bends and curls in pursuit of its foe. Charging enhances the potency. When the flame they received from Mesmer would not find purchase within them, the Fire Knights relied on fire incantations to honor their bond. So they received flame from Mesmer but they couldn't take it in, absorb it, use it. So they used fire incantations instead. Okay. This kind of looks like a safe drop down to the other level as well. I'm going to try this way first. A lever. Curious. It moves where all the attractions are. Well, the objects of study, the attractions, I don't, uh, I don't even know. Oh, you're not allowed, whoa, whoa, you're not allowed to move them back to how they were. Okay. Well, either I've ruined something forever, or there is only one right answer, and that is to pull the lever. Seeing as these guys are burnt out, and the other enemy that you find here is a fire guy, it's potential that they're the two opposing factions. You know, the fire guys are truly living still, and they're the victors. And the army that America sent. And the, the ghosts are just kind of here, and they're just kind of stuck here. This is interesting. Was there... I can't remember if there was any loot on top of this one that's next to me, but... You can sort of climb around and do things. And they have offered a way back if you climb further down, by the looks of it. Why would I want to be further down there? Hmm. No, there's no loot on top of that one.
Ooh, didn't think I was going to make it for a second there. I mean, this does sort of go somewhere if I jump across to this next one, but do I want to be here? I, I don't even know. I'm actually not sure. One thing I do know is I hate jumping in these games, so I kind of kind of dislike this bit by default. Hmm. Let me see. Fickle, fidgety little letters. I should wipe you clean off the page. Wow. Oh. Now, now, Freya. Don't let it rile you up. Take it slow. Take it slow. We know Freya. Freya is the girl that says she worked for General oh, Rodan. Lord. Will I ever make sense of this jumble? And then she got scammed into working for Mikola because of the, the charm. Doesn't seem like she's a she's a good reader. Uh, I'm guessing we'll go and help her out with with reading at some point. Oh god! Please, jumping puzzle. Oh, we even clip through this bit. I don't like it. So is this just out to where the bats are? Maybe? <laughs> this place is awesome. Whoa, there's all of that out there as well. Whatever's going on down there? That looks cool. I don't even know how they come up with this stuff. Oh, these guys cast some of the villain spells as well. We've got a back inside, and we've got a guy guarding a door. I don't know, man. The door might have a save point behind it, but it also might have a boss behind it. I'm going to look back in doors. Well, that isn't a safe drop onto the man thing. Ah, more bats in the roof. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Doesn't really seem like we've got much choice other than to jump on these. No, that's a bit tall. I think the door might be my only option here. Oh, this is a different fella. The winged serpent helm and the ash of war, the flame spear. Helm of Kood, Captain of the Fire Knights, a winged serpent purchased atop it, enhances Fire Knight skills. The winged serpent is a token of the creature of Mesmer's military forces. It is 
a wise friend which keeps the base serpent at bay and holds its power in check. Fair enough. Flame Spear. The Azure Wall grants an armament, the Flame Art Affinity, and the following skill. Flame Spear, skill of Kood, Captain of the Fire Knights. Ready weapon for a thrusting attack and unleash the Spear of Flame straight ahead. Charge the attack to increase damage dealt and distance traveled. Usable on armaments capable of thrusting, claws and backhand blades accepted. Another headless Marika statue. Was this Skadoo tree fragment again? Cool. Oh, thank God, a save point. Oh no, a save point next to a door. I don't know about that. We'll come back to that when we've exhausted a li little bit more of indoors. By my lord, will I ever make sense of this jumble? Ah, uh, oof. How does one... Ugh. We might need to start from somewhere else. There is not a lot of backwards options so far. Ah, uh, no. Oh, maybe though, maybe here. What's up, fella? Impenetrable thorns. Spell. Oh, it's a sorcery. A, a, a pure sorcery that requires only faith, though. So it's like a reverse sorcery. Sorcery are those who abandon the practice of incantations after devout faith rewarded them with only despair. Some as the skadoo trees impenetrable thorns from the ground. This sorcery can be used repeatedly. The image of the twisted skadoo tree is an edict. Denounce their ways, do them harm, for they have abandoned us. Jeez. That's depressing. Potentially we can drop off of here, if need be, and there's even some loot down there. By my lord, will I ever make sense of this jumble? We're good, we're good. Hey, another save point, and a cross, and some skadoo tree fragments, I assume. Dude. Storehouse cross message. Message left by Sir Ansbach, addressed to kindred spirits who also pursue Mikola's trail. It would seem that the people of the keep have flooded the holy quarters that leads onwards to the skadoo tree, barring access. So the people of the keep have flooded the, the, the holy quarter. Uh, however, there is no route that leads there from this storehouse. Perhaps there is another way to reach the holy quarter from somewhere else in this keep. Hard words coalesce. I abandoned here my arm dextral. Didn't even 
want his arm. Having an arm is easy mode. Let's go without it. We're at Skadoo Tree 10. It still costs three, and I don't have three more. What's this uh, area called? This is the storehouse fourth floor warp. If I open the map, we've got back section, fourth floor, dark chamber entrance, and the church district entrance. Oh yeah, damn. I've never gone like up this way and then looked into this town. This was like a whole war camp full of Enemies, we never looked up here yet, or uh, any of this stuff. And that's what leads into this castle, but another part of it. Interesting. Uh, we haven't been out to any of this back area yet, because this was higher up. And also, this castle seems to lead out towards the high up uh, green area that we had a bit of a peek of. Been teleported up here before, but it didn't lead anywhere else. All the rest of these uh, things are like underground and, and not exactly here. So, yeah, this is cool. There are no more drops off the side. So, it looks like we're doing this. Another one of them fire boys up there. Let's go. Oh, it showed me by being different. So they're like little, little ash boats. I don't really know if they're cremating people in them, but they, they look like kind of funeral pyre boats in a way. Oh, see that piece of loot down there beneath the stairs? Yum. So these are the bats we saw earlier. Cool. Alright. Nice. I don't think I followed the stairs up. I think I did this jump down. There's still definitely a bit more of this that we didn't look at. Oh god. Where did they come from? I guess they dropped down. Mean. <laughs> really mean. Yeah, I was going a bit too ham there. I I really should have. 
I don't know, I guess I'm in a little bit of a fluster because I want to get back to my souls. But that's, you know, it's a bad idea. Eesh. What a devil. Just checking if this is somewhere where we've been in before. Uh-oh. No. It's not. So, I guess first and foremost, I want to go back, go down these stairs, get another piece of loot, then come back into that room and carry on. So I reckon this is going to be a dead end. It's not. Man. Hey, yo. Got them all in a line. They were trying to hide their numbers by being in single file. I, for one, was not having any of it. I think that's my uh, save point over there where that was. You can maybe see the cross in there. I, d I don't know. So there's still that piece of loot. And we went on a ladder like above it. But I, I still don't know how to get down there. Because this is like as low. Oh, okay. The jump right there. Secret right scroll there. That sounds interesting. Let's find out what the secret right is all about. A scroll made of white tree bark. Learn about the secret right of the divine gateway. Oh, we heard about this gateway earlier. If you can decipher the scroll which describes the secret right of the divine gateway seems said to be found at the tower enshrouded by shadow. A lord will usher in a god's return. I'm I'm a lord, I'm an elden lord. Uh, and the lord's soul will require a vessel. Oh dear. Huh. Lord Soul Vessel. That sounds like Dark Souls are one stiff. Okay, so we got a, we got a route down. Should we want to permanently go down? Which we do, but I don't know if we want to do it now.
Good God, that scared the heck out of me. It ain't easy being on 10 health, 10 vigor. Everybody else relax, but that guy attacks me. Come on. You like the other guys, be relaxed. Oh, this could be where we get the dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, there's one of those fire guys up there. Yeesh. Doesn't he know that this is a library? I guess not. Uh, safe? Maybe? Oh man. Crazy. 
crazy, crazy tower. Love it though. By my lord, will I ever make sense of this jumble? I'm taking any more chances with these jerks. Volga guys in here. I don't think anyone was expecting that. Has everyone had enough? I honestly thought the voice was coming from this character and that she was in disguise and that by going around to her eventually and clearing the room we would learn that oh hello it's a friend but no I made a commotion and then it was just an enemy and the voice was coming I guess from the other side of the wall I haven't tried blocking one of these fireballs yet, I don't think. Oh, I just lost all my billions of souls. Damn, that was almost enough souls for a level up. It was like 108, 1000 or something, but I hadn't drunk a potion while I was trying out new things. It was so silly. We haven't done that for a long time, but yeah, those, those souls are gone. Don't need to worry about them anymore. They do hurt when I don't have the immutable shield on. Yeah, they hurt a lot. Damn, dude. All them souls. Might try and do this jump here. While we, uh, you know. While I don't have anything to lose. Oh, wow. Hmm. 